when you're in a corporate job, you're feeling like you have to be responsive even with your own vacation. But when you own a business, it comes from a place of like passion yeah. and you're excited. Like for me, I will be working a little bit because I want to work. I enjoy working and it's while I'm really being rewarded by doing this the way that I wanted to be doing it. So right. I will be working, looking at the lagoon on my vacation. Mm-hmm. When I open my laptop in the morning, I'm because I can work from anywhere. And I, the business that I run paid for this vacation, right? Welcome to the Coast Podcast. I'm Emily, a virtual assistant agency owner who left Amazon in 2019 to build my dream. And I'm Whitney, a freelance writer and communications consultant who never felt at home in a cube farm. We wanted to learn from people who paved their own ways like we did. So we created this podcast to talk to others who were brave enough to pick a different path. Creatives, entrepreneurs, people doing their careers and their lives their way. Join us as we make new friends, get inspired, and show you beautiful paths less traveled. Not every road leads to the coast, but the ones that do come with a great view. All right, vacay mode. Vacay mode. Today is Tuesday, July 16th. In two days, I turn 24. In four days, I go to Long Beach. 24? 24? Oh my God. Emily, 30. happy birthday. Stay 24 forever. <laughs> you can tell what mental state I'm in. Jeez. 24 plus 10. <laughs> I'm turning 34 in two days. And I'm going well, to. Happy birthday. I already going, celebrated you. I know. And I you was did. very I proud of myself. The most beautiful hummingbird wine glass and box. And I'm keeping, I love it so much. So turning 34. And going to the co-capsules event, Headshots and Hype Girls. Oh, you are? Good. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, who doesn't need a good headshot for their birthday? Yeah. And it's sponsored by Vin Vin. I know I saw that. And then I can get a cute vacation outfit. You know that they met at our Mean Girls event. Did they? I love that. Yeah. So it's all because of us, obviously. (laughs) Totally. But no, I'm super excited because I love co-capsules. Anyway, four days, I'm going on vacation. And I think a lot of small business owners, okay, or big business owners, because I'm going to start calling myself that because my accountant told me that, Emily, you're treating yourself like a small business and you're a big business. And it like went to my head in a good way. I was like, oh, okay. I love that. Um, Like talking about serving it, we all need to hear that so that we can all believe it too. But a lot of people entrepreneurs would freak out going on vacation. Uh, Okay. The federal government defines a large business as having $7 million in annual revenue and 500 employees. So I'm not a big business yet, but I might be one day. We'll see. Anyway. According to the government. According to the government, which we don't (laughs) know that we always trust them. (gasps) Yeah. I digress. A lot of people who own businesses would freak out about be going on vacation, going on vacation. I'm like, it's chill. That's fine. And, and you're way- really good at vacations. For being such a psycho about your email, <laughs> you're like anti-email on vacation. I actually am. Is, isn't that weird? Even it's like me like- in corporate jobs because I'm like, you're not paying me. Bye-bye. Yeah. And I guess I do that to myself too because I am paying me, but also I set up, okay, let's talk about what you should do if you own a small business when you're going on vacation. So one, block your calendar. Yeah. For me, I had, I chose, I won't say I had to because I didn't have to. I chose to leave a couple hours open every day where people can still book sales calls with me. I do not do that. I have maybe two days. I'm just the only, the and here's my thought behind it. I've had really great momentum the past couple of weeks. I've had a lot of inquiries come through my website. I had a day last week when I had five sales calls in one day. It's really good momentum. I don't want to lose that. And I don't want a potential client, and this is a mindset thing too, to come to my website 
and be like, oh, I can't talk to her for two weeks. I'm going to go with another agency, which is, there's a lot of different things that I could have done here. I could have trained someone else how to do my sales calls, which I ha- Amber on my team could totally do sales calls. I, but I want to, right? I want to. So yeah. I chose. That's like to me leave. with pitching. We talk about that too. Right. I could automate my pitching, but I chose, I choose not to. I chose to leave three hours per day open on my calendar, not Monday because Monday's Billy's mom's coming. It's our anniversary. We're going to be at the beach, right? And not Friday because it's Billy's birthday. So three days during the day, right? So while you're on vacation. Yeah. Just three hours, three days. And they're open. That doesn't mean I'm working. That means if someone books a call, I can take it, right? So it's energetically for me, it's a big energetic thing. I'm Mm -hmm. open. Yeah. I'm open to sales calls. And so you like block out your calendar the way that you need to block it when you're on vacation. Right. And to make sure you dedicate a point person for me, Amber is going to be my point person. And she knows that. So she actually can go into my inbox and make sure that anything urgent needs to come up and she will directly answer any uh, client things that come in that need abrupt attention while I'm gone. And if not, I have an out of office that says, Hey, I'm traveling this week. I'll be back in the office on the first. Um, if you need anything urgently, please re- reach out to Amber. Right. So I'm going to still look at my inbox, but I'm not really handling many things. I'm not going to be working for eight hours a day. I'm not even going to be working for probably more than an hour per day. So just setting up a point person, setting up your calendar so that you're like blocked off and then doing the things. So for me, I generally invoice uh, on the 20th for the following month. I'm going to invoice on the 19th, right? So it's just doing things a day early and setting up systems so that you're taking care of things. And then when you get back, that was my worst, that my least favorite part of a corporate job actually was going on vacation and coming back to so much work that it feels like, was it even worth it to go on vacation? Yeah. So for me, setting up someone that's taking actively taking care of things that need to be done while I'm out, that's been a huge relief for me. So that's Amber on my team. Amber has actually been with me since before I became an agency. So she was the very first person I hired to help me do little things and in growing and setting up my business. And so she just knows the way that I work and it's valuable to have your right hand person to set those things up. So that's for me, it's having someone dedicated that's going to answer in your response or be there for you in case you can't respond and then blocking your calendar accordingly. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's like, I used, (laughs) I've come a long way. When I first started my business, I literally brought my laptop to the beach. Just, just just like, there's some new stuff coming out now too, where it's like, can we all just talk about how that's like not a flex? And I'm like, no. yeah, I don't want to be on the beach with my laptop. First no. of all, sand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and two, it gets super hot and you're going to yeah. overheat it anyway. But I, again, it all goes back to setting boundaries. And I saw a meme that was like in other countries. It's I'm on holiday. I might respond to your vacation when I get back. And it's, the U.S. is, I had my kidney surgerized. I will get back to you within two hours. Oh, like, yeah, that was me in the NICU. I was yeah. like, I'm bored. But you built your business in the NICU, too. So, yeah. Like, you were thinking about all these things. As long as like, it's, yeah, a choice. And I'm right. kind of in the, like, hype. I was in the super hyper vigilant get to this place mode. And for me, I'm going on a couple trips and I'm, they're trips more so than vacations. I am bringing my laptop with me and I'm going to dedicate some time every day to check in, but it's not, I worked ahead so that I could do that. And I have a lighter summer, which is nice. Yeah. And I think there's also a difference between, and maybe that's a huge difference, right? And when you're in a corporate job, you're feeling like you have to be resp- like responsive even with your own vacation. But when you own a business, it comes from a place of like passion yeah. and you're excited. Like for me, 
I will be working a little bit because I want to work. I enjoy working. And it's while I'm really being rewarded by doing this the way that I wanted to be doing it. So right. I will be working, looking at the lagoon on my vacation mm-hmm. when I open my laptop in the morning. I'm because I can work from anywhere. And I, the business that I run paid for this vacation, right? I'm enjoying it, but I'm also like set up the systems that I don't have to just be on all the time, which is beautiful. Yep. And if you're earlier in your business too, you're probably like scared of the clients being mad. And I can tell you from experience, like every time I used to like not tell my clients that I was going to be gone and I would just work the whole time as if I wasn't. And then now I tell them and I give them a heads up and they're like, oh my gosh, have fun. It is so just not weird. It's all to your point. The boundaries are for you. They are for the clients a little bit, but they're mostly for you. I articulate my boundaries to hold myself accountable. And I think that's, that's one of the best things that we can teach people that are building businesses is set the boundary up front. And Mm -hmm. our friend Michelle does like a workshop on this, which I want her to come do another workshop. Like I, it's so valuable, like setting boundaries in business ownership. So like on principle, this because I even do it to you. On principle, yeah. I do not respond to emails that come outside of business hours. Yeah. I don't, it, I just don't because if you set that precedent where you are responding late at night or you're responding on the weekend, they'll continue to do it. And if you teach them by, okay, you respond to that email Monday during working hours. Hey, thanks for your email. And I've actually stopped saying apologies for the delay because I'm not sorry. Yeah, I'm not sorry. I never apologize. Yep. Yep. You got to flip it. And also you have all your labels and things that I do or that you do. My kink is delay deliver. (laughs) It's my most favorite thing. And they're long. They're out. They're finally giving it to me on iMessages soon. I think it's like the next Apple update. Thank God. Cause I'm always like, if it's in my brain that I'm worried that if I don't get it out, it won't get out. But I'm also sensitive to other people having different schedules than me. And so I delay deliver everything, even if I don't have to. I'm like, yeah, this isn't due until Thursday. I could send it now. It's Wednesday. It's fine. I'm going to send it on tomorrow at this time so that I think even, that's really great. Yeah. And within business hours, but even like thinking of my own sanity let's say it's an article for a client. I don't want their feedback right now. I'm not in a place where I want to, let's say they open it right away. They give me feedback. I don't, I'm not available for that. So delay deliver to Thursday at a random time of my choosing, never on the hour, never on a like obvious time, just very like 807. And a different, (laughs) and an, and even a, you could take that a step further, send your feedback for delivery and send them a link to schedule an official feedback meeting with you if you wanted to do it that way. Yeah. Mine is, yeah. Yeah. There's some, it's funny, like the boundaries, like you have your do not disturb on all the time. Yes. When I text you, I want to mash that notify anyway (laughs) button so bad a lot of the time, but I don't because I'm like, "Mm, she did it for a reason. But I really do want to like, when I'm talking to you, I don't even know if you see my texts, like when I send them, because I, anyway. They I come to my mash. laptop, so I do see them, but I don't it's on my terms. Button. Yeah. You can sometimes if it's important. But it's but not important. I'm like, hi, I'm thinking about you. <laughs> You're just sending I'm me sending a, you a-, a shape and a color. Yeah. yeah. I do think, too, it's a level of business maturity that you get to, because even for me, I made the decision last year that I was going to be better at vacations and treating myself well as an employee of myself, and that has done really well for me this year. And I've, I'm always going to be tweaking my relationship to like each trip, but I've been so much more at peace and like able to relax on trips now. And the team expansion is helping with that as well. I don't have to do it all. And so I'm excited a, for us. As a business owner, it's really, it's fun to see like when your assistants go on vacation too. Because mm-hmm. they're all like, oh, but I, I'm like, no, who's your point person? It's me. That's fine. Tell, does your client know? Awesome. Do they need support while they're gone? No. Cool. You're good. 
have fun. Yeah. Like I setting that boundary for them just empowers them to do the same too. So it's fun. Like being how they set leadership obviously comes from the top, but like your culture comes from your culture. So if you have this attitude about boundaries, then you're rolling that down to everybody else in your business and your clients and it's good. Yeah. So our message to you is have a great time on your summer vacay. Mm -hmm. Everyone listening. And if you are not in a place where you're doing that yet, like maybe this is your sign to get there and make a plan Mm -hmm. for having a vacation next summer. Yep. And test the waters. I did it. (laughs) Yep. I did it in little steps. Started with two days, then four days, six days, 10 days. We were gone 10 days this time. It's a long time. Yeah. You go, girl. It makes you better for your business, for everyone. It does. All right. Go play. Yeah. Bye. Happy summer.